Hey guys, welcome back to the Sullivan family. So today is raining. It's the start of the summer holidays. Day one, it's pouring down with rain and it's been raining all day. But that's not going to deter us. So I have my summer holiday haul of things to do. We went out the other evening and me and Olivia went out the other night and got some bits and pieces from the shops. Um, I was saying the other day in, I think it was last week in one of my vlogs, how we're not really in a position to go away just at the moment. So we've booked, we've booked some days out. Um, we've booked to go to Landmark. We've booked to go to the Highland Wildlife Park and we need to book to go to Cadona's. So we're gonna have some sort of big days out uh, apart from other bits and pieces, you know, free stuff like the beach and the woods and lots of different walks and bits and bobs like that. So we'll get out and about enough. But we also usually spend some money every year on just bits and pieces for the garden for the kids to play out, you know, cause stuff gets lost, gets broken. Um, so yeah. We went through what we had left in the garden. For some reason, we've got about 40 water pistols. Um, so we didn't need any of them. And I'm trying to steer away from getting too much plasticky things, although I have got a few bits because they end up just literally getting broken and um, ended up in a big plastic pile in the corner. So I've tried to get stuff that I know that will get played with. Um, so, hopefully fingers crossed none of it will get broken it will get broken um so yeah we went to b m tesco's and asda i think uh just like i said picked up some bits and pieces there's been stuff i've been seeing and looking at and there's a lot of stuff that you think oh yeah that will look like great fun but when you actually get it home i know that it wouldn't be so we're just kind of stuck with what I think will get used. So in the garden already, they have, if you watch videos a few back, we have the mud kitchen, which was the twins and Agnes and Joseph got with their Christmas money. Um, and they love that. They love playing with that. Um, it's got lots of, I'll probably put some more utensils and stuff in there for them because they've got lots of pots and pans, but, we kind of need to get out there properly and and spend some time out in the garden with them to to see what they need and the weather's just been so rubbish lately we haven't been out there all that much but they do love playing with their mud kitchen we've also got the tough tray um which i've ordered some legs for so that they can have it up high um i'm saying i'm a lot i'm saying i'm a lot this evening i don't know why maybe it's because i'm tired but anyway i've got the tough tray which i've got some legs for because I'm going to try and do them lots of little tough tray sort of play um, things to do. You know, they love playing with, their, they've got all their fairy stuff. They love getting the fairy stuff out. Uh, they love getting the dinosaurs out. So I'm going to do some more bits and pieces like that for them because I find that quite often those sorts of things last longer than <sighs> some rackets and some balls and things that end up inevitably getting busted. So I'm going to try and do a bit more of that this summer. Um, obviously for the little ones, the twins still do enjoy that sort of thing. If you set things up, I mean, Joseph is very good at playing on his own. Agnes is quite good at playing on her own sometimes, but only when Agnes feels like it. Agnes also likes to be the boss of everything, so can get quite angry when other people don't do what she wants them to do. The twins are much better when you set something up for them. If you can set it up for them, they'll play with it but sometimes they find it a little bit difficult to kind of think of things for themselves. Although they're getting much better at it and they will, um, they, since they've been at school, they will go out and they will make up little games for themselves, but they can find it a little bit difficult sometimes. So those sorts of things will go down well. Um, but right, I'll get on and I'll show you what we've got. Okay, so I'll start with the stuff we got from B&M. Now, let's move back. There's a bit of a backstory to this. So we've got this gazebo tent thing, camouflage. And the reason I got it was because for Agnes's birthday, she got 
this prince's castle gazebo thing and we actually got around it it's been sat there since may we haven't actually put it up yet so we put it up last week and it's brilliant it takes a little while to put up when you've done it for the first time and now we know how to do it it'll be easy but it's actually really big and it's quite sturdy and they loved it it was up in the lounge for about four days i kept having to take it apart bring it into the dining room in the evenings and then take it back through and put it together the next day which at like six o'clock in the morning is is quite difficult putting it back together when you're not very awake but they really loved it they put all their blankets in it and it's got like a floor because you put the poles through it so it's got the floor built in so they put their blankets in it they put their teddies in it their, their pillows in it and th they loved it so I think it'll be perfect for the garden in the summer for them to play in. So what I did was bought this one so they can play in this one too. I thought the boys will love that. The girls will love it as well and the boys like the princess one but um yeah they're really they're really quite good. That was I have a feeling it was fifteen pounds, but it says twenty pound on there. So maybe it was twenty. But I thought it was quite good and they are actually quite big, so they'll like that uh then we got did we get these from p and yeah we did mm. so we got these because we've got lots of um the squishy balls that you put in water and throw at each other we've got lots of them left over from last year and these are kind of ones that you use with water they're like water paddle things you can't actually see very well but they've got like a wetsuit -y kind of neoprene sort of material so i thought they'll be quite good fun for them to to play i only bought one set of two and they were six pounds for the two because if i had to buy a set for everybody i'd have to spend a fortune so i just have to share them so i've got those as well um so did we get the golf sets in bnm i can't remember now did we get another the Asda? Um, did we get the swing ball? We got that in Asda. Oh, this is the other thing we got. So, Olivia normally has to spend ages blowing up the pool. So she saw this for a tenner, I think it was, pump. Because we've only got a foot pump at the moment. So we thought this would be a really good idea because they can stand and pump it up. Only to realise that when we got home, um, the pool that we bought this year is actually one of those ones that's not inflatable. It's one of the ones that it's just got the size and when you put the water in, it goes up. So we don't actually need it, but um, we have got a tiny one. We've got a little pool because we've got, a, we had to buy a new big pool this year because the last one, it we left out in the garden and then it got crushed by the fence when the fence came down. So it's no more. And they do love having the pool out in the garden when it stops raining. Um, so we bought another one, we bought it from Smith's Toys um, a little while back. I bought it in the sale. I can't remember how much it was, but it's like just a normal sort of big family size one. But it's 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 one of the ones that you put the water in and the sides stay up. And it's, I think it's just got an inflatable bit around the top. Um, but we do have another little one from last year or the year before which has it got a little dinosaur, it's a little play center or something, isn't it? Just one of these little pools for, for the little ones to have really. So we can use that to the blow that up. Sprinkler. Oh, we've got a rainbow sprinkler as well, actually, which needs blowing up. Doesn't need blowing up? The clouds do. So it'll come in handy anyway, because they normally have to build it, blow them up. So we've got, yeah, we've got that for a, for a tenner. Um, what else did we get from B&M? I think that might have been it from B&M. Is that it? I think we got that from Bottom Bean. No, I think we got that from Asda. Oh, that was the other thing we got from Bean. This isn't actually a garden toy. This is just for flow. So they've got one of these tummy time mats. I mean, it's also got a big inflatable. Actually, we could use that to do the inflatable. So you can pump it up with that. So it's got an inflatable telly tubby. But the reason I got it is one of those tummy time mats that you put water inside. Um, but it's you know it's it's inside so they can splash it it's like a little splash pad but it was supposed to be supposed to be 12.99 but we got it for a fiver and i thought she'll love that because she loves um she quite likes being on her tummy and she she loves to touch things and hold things 
so she'll really like that and i mean she can have it out in the garden as well but yeah it's kind of water inside she'll really like that so i got that the fiber could not buy that so that's what we've got in b and um so then asda is next okay asda so the older ones have been on about getting a swing ball we had a swing ball years ago but they were all a bit little to be honest and the kind of concept of the swing ball just went over their heads and it was only a junior one anyway and i don't really know what happened to it it probably probably went somewhere so we've got a new swing ball i got this one in asda i can't remember how much it was actually but it's got an adjustable it's height adjustable so the older ones can play with it and then the younger ones can play with it as well if they want to but the older ones will like it i can see lots of tournaments of swing ball going on it's quite good as well actually because it's in a little case you know if you were going camping which we're not if you were going camping or going out or you know even just for a picnic i mean we might go take it to go for a picnic up to duffer's castle you can fill it with sand i think or water yeah you can fill it with water it's quite handy so yeah that one um last year we had little golf sets actually we had them in 2020 as well maybe they were the ones from Twitter. we had them in 2020 because they used to play little golf tournaments around the garden during lockdown and joseph absolutely loves them but we only had one you know they're only plastic they don't they don't this is what i mean about plastic stuff they don't last forever especially when the big ones are playing with them um and we ended up with one one golf club left that was it the rest of them got broken so we bought two little sets for them to play because joseph does love it i don't even know what happened to all the balls they're probably around the garden in all the hedges and stuff probably find every ball that we've ever lost which is a lot in the hedges so yeah bought two of them from asda i think they're about six pounds each um we also got new frisbee thingy because again i don't know what happened to ours probably got thrown over the fence and it's gone somewhere else two pound in asda oh i got currents we've got like i said we've got the other little play pool but it's it's still quite big and obviously flo is still quite tiny and although she can't really go like to the leisure center pool or anything so she's had all her jabs um i did think she might if we actually do get some sunshine and it is warm she might like to sit in a little pool and we could make a tiny one up with warm water for her so i've got just a little tiny five pound um ring pool just so that she can she can sit in it i don't know whether we we'll use it or not but i thought for a fiver she might do if we filled up with warm enough water she might sit in it for a little bit just to put her feet in um olivia maybe buy these to you know what beach balls i mean it's really windy here they'll probably blow away but it'll be fun they were like two pound each so we bought some beach balls and i remember so last year i think it was last year or the year before we bought the giant inflatable footballs they're huge these great huge giant inflatable footballs but it was so windy they kept blowing away so every time they kicked them the wind would take them over the fence so they weren't a great purchase they were great they're great fun with them but um they would just blow away all the time because they were only light and they were massive hopefully these will last a little bit longer so i think that is everything that we got in asda i think that's everything right so lastly there's the bits we got from Tesco's. We didn't get much from Tesco's and I had some um I had some club card vouchers for Tesco's. I had about forty pounds worth of club card vouchers, so I used those for for this and then a little bit of shopping. The kids, the little ones like playing with the bouncy balls and we somehow we've managed to either lose or burst all the bouncy balls. We'll probably burst them because Noah decides when his footballs break that he'll use the kids' bouncy balls as a football and obviously he kicks them too hard and they end up breaking. 
So we got them bouncy balls, bouncy balls from Tesco. What have we got? A unicorn one, a Spider Man one. Um, I know they're all falling off. An Avengers one. They just fell off the table. And a Coca Melon one. Because Florence loves Coca Melon. And I know she's only two months old. But you never know. She likes to look at the colours. So the last thing we got in Tesco's was a bit of a treat um, for the summer. And I probably wouldn't have bought them if I didn't have Club Club vouchers. But I did. So we've got the little ones. The four little ones. We've got little cut these little cups. So three flamingo ones and a crocodile one for the summer for the garden. I'm not giving some in the house because they'll probably spill them because they're not very good with cups, but they will like these. And it's nice because the older ones have got like the mason jar cups and that they often use. So it's nice for them. And talking of the mason jar mug cup things, they had loads on special offer in Tesco. So I had to buy them, obviously. So if you've got about six, but half of them live in Olivia's bedroom most of the time. And occasionally they come down for a visit and then they disappear upstairs again. So I bought some more. So... Oh no. Yeah. We got these flamingo ones reduced from they were reduced from two pound fifty in Tesco's to ninety five P. So we got four of those. I thought they were quite good at two fifty, although I think we got our other ones in B and M for a quid. But these ones have got they're just plain, these ones have got flamingos on. So we've got them for ninety five P each, which is good. And then we also got Two with crocodiles on for I think they were one pound fifty. So it's not bad really. Now I just need to go and sort my glass cupboard out because there's actually no space for them. So I'm just gonna get rid of some glasses and then there'll be lots of space. But they do get used quite a lot and they'll get used in the summer. So it would be nice for everybody to have one. Um I think that's it. I think that's all we got. The other thing, what house? Oh, we did buy a new patio set as well um, because we needed one with a parasol. I think we managed to get one from Asda in the end. I was looking at one in Argos, uh, but they didn't have it in stock. And then I was looking at another one, but then they had pretty much the same one. So they've one in at Argos for about two hundred and fifty pound. And they had pretty much the same one in Asda for 169. So we got the one in Asda. But we did buy some seating last year, but obviously it was quite small and not really big enough for the whole family. So we've bought this table and chairs as well so that we can kind of do a bit more in the garden in the evenings, really, like some barbecues and stuff when the little ones have gone to bed. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's all we've got this summer. Like I said, I've tried not to get too much kind of stuff that I don't think will get used bought more stuff that I know will get used and we've got stuff left over from last year stuff that they play with all the time anyway like I said we've got the tough tray Joseph's still got his little um like pack away uh I bought it last year in Tesco's it's like a little case that you open and you can put water in and boats was it boats it was boats wasn't it around and he loves to play with that so those sorts of things are always good we've got loads of water balloons left from last year we've got the bubble machine that they love to have out and something like oh, i did i got a beach tent as well actually for for florence because i'm a bit worried about her sitting out in the sun if we ever get any sun and it's ever hot i'm thinking ahead that i we don't have much shade in the garden apart from on the patio where the kids all like to play but when you're in the garden and it's warm and sunny there's not much shade and obviously we don't have the gazebo anymore because the seagulls ruined it so we don't have that shelter anymore. Um, and we'll have the parasol from the patio table, but that's not really enough for her. So we've got a beach tent that we can use at home and at the beach. And it's quite, you know, it's big enough for her to sit inside. Uh, and it's a factor, I think it's like a factor 50 one as well. 
so that's quite good so she'll be she'll be well safe in there but other than that i think that's i think that's it obviously they've got the bouncy castle as well to play in and they've got the swings and the slide and there's, there's lots of things for them to do in the garden it's like a theme park out there but then we do spend a lot of time at home in the garden so i want it to be nice for them but some stuff lasts for ages and they can you know we use it year after year which is great but this is just a little top up on the things for them to play so hopefully they'll like them and be happy with them so yeah that's it that's my my summer holiday kind of haul so now what we need is some sunshine we need it to stop raining which is still raining and we need some sunshine fingers crossed so I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, remember to hit the bell for notifications. Give us a like, give us a subscribe and we will see you in the next video. Bye.